Yeah, welcome to KBN Sports Talks. And today we got our NHL 2021 playoff predictions. And I know that yesterday we had some games played, but that's okay. i talk about what they did in the season against each other. And our first division or section of the playoffs that we're going to do is the Scotia North Division, which is the Toronto Maple Leafs versus the Montreal Canadiens. And we got the Edmonton Oilers versus the Winnipeg Jets. The first matchup we got in the North Division, we have the number one seed Toronto Maple Leafs going up against the number four seed Montreal Canadiens. And this is the first time these two bitter, bitter rivals had played each other in the playoffs since 1979. Wow, that's a long time ago. And wow, that is surprising to me that these two have not played each other in the playoffs. Because these two teams are two really, really good teams. This year, it seemed just like the Maple Leafs owned the Canadians. The Maple Leafs beat them seven times and only lost three times. Only one time they lost in OT. So there was basically a 7-3 and three record against the Canadians this year the Maple Leafs had in the regular season. The Canadians didn't do well against them. As you can see, they only won three games. And the thing, though, is Maple Leafs... Toronto Maple Leafs have not won a playoff series in 15 years. They haven't won one in 15 years. That's a lot. That's a long, long, long time they haven't won a series. I was three when they last time they won a series in the playoffs. And this year, if the Maple Leafs don't beat the Canadians, then Austin Matthews amazing game or amazing year that he had with 41 goals in 51 games doesn't really matter it doesn't it's out the window yes i said 41 get goals in 51 games they've only they had a 56 game schedule it was shortened for the year they normally have an 82 game schedule i'm i believe if i'm wrong tell me in the comments or tell me what it is if i'm right but Wow, 41 goals in 51 games. So that's 10 games he didn't have a goal. Only 10 games. And then they also have, the Maple Leafs have Marner. They have Tav Tavares. They have Felino. They have a great offensive team. They they're stacked offensively. But can their goalies live up to the Canadians? Campbell, I know, came in for the for the Maple Leafs and had a great year. 17 wins, two lo or four and four losses. Great for him. But they are all the Canadians are getting back Gallagher. They have Corey Price and Jake Allen for goalies. Which one they want to use? That's up to them. They also have still have Shea Weber. They have Suzuki. They have Tartar. Tatar, my bad. They have all these players, and they're getting their star Gallagher back, their leader Gallagher, which is going to help them tremendously. This could be a scary thing for the Maple Leafs. The Maple Leafs aren't good in the playoffs. As I said, 15 years without winning the, a playoff series. But this year, they dominated in the North Division. They had a 16 point or 17 points ahead of second place. They dominated. They just dominated, honestly. They did. But can they do it in the playoffs? Will they do it in the playoffs? Will Austin Matthews continue his tremendous goal streak? Will he or will he not? Will Marner or the help out? Will Marner take over the team? Will Joe Thornton get his first ever Stanley Cup this year with the Maple Leafs? Because he is, remember, he did sign with the Maple Leafs. So will he, if this is his final ride, will he get that elusive Stanley Cup victory that he's been wanting. Will the Maple Leafs do it this year? We have to wait and see. Will the Canadians stop their bitter, bitter rivals from getting to that? Because they are the number four seed. And last year, remember, Montreal last year, they knocked off the Pittsburgh Penguins in the bubble when the Penguins were favored to beat them a lot more than anybody else. They were favored to beat the Canadians by a lot. They were 
predicted that people were saying they were going to sweep them. People were saying that they were going to beat them in five. And the Canadians beat the Pittsburgh Penguins last year and pulled off the upset. So will they do it again this year? Personally, my prediction is that the Toronto Maple Leafs will beat them in six games. I just think that they, the Canadians don't have enough firepower to beat the Maple Leafs. I think the Maple Leafs are going to beat the Canadians just because how scary their offense is. The Maple Leafs offense is just too much, I think, for the Canadians to handle. But the Canadians have two great goaltenders for options. They have Jake Allen and Corey Price. Corey Price probably one of the best goaltenders in a long time. What will happen, that's for us to see. We have to wait and see, but I got the Maple Leafs in six.